It is Dendro Spider-Man time. Kinich has just released, as you can obviously see, he like literally just released. I was playing the game as his banner came out. I was doing that because I needed to get more pulls. And as you can see, we have acquired quite a lot of pulls. This entire area is not only 100%ed on the game, but like fully 100%ed. I've gone through the interactive app and collected every chest and done every quest and done everything I possibly could in this area. The only thing I'm missing is there is a luxurious chest uh, about here and I don't have that because that's a like time gated by days, not just in game days, but like actual days. I haven't got that one yet, but I've gotten everything else and done every quest there is, which also means that all of these are as maxed out as I can get apart from obviously doing the reputation stuff each week. And I have already maxed out this one. The People of the Springs one is already level four. And I'm just working on these two now. But that doesn't matter because we're here to do pools. And it does kind of matter because I need more pools. Because we only have 13 pools. And I'm at like 49 pity. And that's not enough. But anyway, we just need some luck. As you can see, we have this area, which is the in, in here, down these stairs. This has to be probably one of my favorite places in Genshin, and I'm so happy that they just let us go here, because normally for these quest-specific areas, you can only go there when you're doing the quest, and you can't go there any other time. But I'm so glad that we can go here whenever we want, because it's one of my favorite looking places. I don't know why it's very basic, but it looks so cool. So without further ado, it is pulling time. So, fingers crossed. We get a little bit lucky. We four star. We are on a guaranteed, so we just need a five star. And that may prove to be difficult. Sarah, I'll take it. I need to get a C6, so I'll, it'll work. Okay, only Sarah on that one. This doesn't look like it's going to go too well. I have already 100%ed Natlands. There's nothing else I can do there. I actually 36 starred the Abyss for the first time, which is great, but that's because it's really easy. Another Sara. Awesome. So, last pull. No, okay. So that's good. You know, we've, we 36 starred that, which is awesome. Haven't done that before. But it's quite easy at the moment. And yeah, already 100% of Natlan, which means this last pull is all I can get currently. And yeah. That's not exactly how I wanted things to go because... As it is Wednesday, that is only C2 Sara. As it is Wednesday, I kind of need this video to come out tonight. So I would have liked a little bit more luck. I do have some other options I can do for videos, but I kind of wanted to get a little bit more lucky. So we actually could have gotten Kinich and gotten this video out. That doesn't seem to be the case though. So as there's not really much else I can think of, I'm going to do the normal thing that I normally do. And that is going and checking out all of the trees. Inazuma Fontaine, which is not really a tree and Sumeru, seeing which one we have closest to getting two pools from, and farming a whole bunch of that in that region, so that I can hopefully get some pools and get Kinich, although that might be difficult because we're now at 50, 63 pity, so I will need almost another 10 pool, if not more. And we are certainly not close to any two pools from here because we just got them. Also pretty far away on that tree. However, it is the closest so far. And also pretty far away on that tree, which means none of them are looking really close. Inazuma is the closest. We're going to need 200 Electro Sigils if we want to do that. Now, I don't know about you, but 200 Electro Sigils in a couple hours does not sound like it's going to happen very easily. I mean, I'll give it my best shot, but I don't like our chances. Which means I think I should probably start thinking about a different video to get out today because don't feel like this is going to be that easy. Although that's probably what I will work on now as I work on doing some exploration around Inazuma because I haven't really done much here. Whoops. And we need to get more pools so I guess I can work on doing Inazuma stuff. So I shall see you in either a couple hours or a couple days. One eternity later. Well, we are back. The Genshin 5.1 live stream just wrapped up. So we already have 500 pulls. And apparently I was not very smart and couldn't count. And didn't realize that we were already at 72 pity. I thought we were at 62. Live stream was pretty cool. 
trailer looks cool. Didn't look like any new region though, which is a shame. We have Shilonen, who I think I'm pronouncing her name right. Definitely want her on supports only. Don't really have any good exploration characters on supports only. So she'll be very good for that. Plus we also have Chiori, so Fontaine only gets to use its pulls. And we get Hu Tao rerun, which I am 100% pulling for C2 Hu Tao. Even though it's not super useful because Hu Tao is my favorite character, every time she gets a rerun, I am going to be pulling for one or multiple of her constellations so I can eventually C6 her because she is the best character in the game. It did give us two pulls plus a bit of farming I've done, so we should be able to snag ourselves a Kinnich right now. We got, I think, about a day before we get the free 10 pull, and I probably won't put this video out until then. I should be able to get it all edited in time because I want to do that 10 pull on his weapon banner. Because then we can have Kinnich, not, wait a minute, and his weapon. I'm nowhere near pity on the weapon banner, so I doubt we're going to get it, but I mean, it'd be cool to get. Last pull, this should be five star, four star. Chevrous, cool, but not cool enough because I wanted that to be a five star. A hold up, give me a minute. I'll do a little bit of farming and I'll be back. We should only need one more pull. C1 Chevrous. Uh, I seem to have trapped myself. Okay, one more pull has been acquired. Come on. This should be our five star. There we go. And just like that, boom, Kinnich. He is very, very cool. Awesome. Well, we'll pull for his weapon when we get that 10 pull, but doesn't matter. We'll deal with that later. We have our lovely boy here, Kinnich, Dendro Spider-Man. How? Be quiet. Don't know what I'm going to run him on. Actually, we'll run him on this, I think, is his best in-slot free-to-play weapon. And we can get to 60. We could probably push 70, but I'll deal with that later. It's... It's like midnight right now, so I'm not going to do too much building. I just wanted to pull after we got those pulls. Let's just quickly get him as far as we can. Level 40. I have done a story quest, so I'll be able to push him at least to 60 if we have the level up books for it. Which we do, so there's level 60. We can go 70. And we are a couple short on these, so I'll farm them tomorrow because, as I said, it's late and I don't want to farm them right now. Going to deal with artifacts tomorrow as well. I'm just going to get him very roughly built right now and then I'll deal with actually building him and trying him out a bit tomorrow when it's not midnight. Well, technically it'd be today, just later today. Also, I don't know why I'm leveling everything up to three because I don't need it. Oh, whatever, we'll just get everything to three and then we can deal with stuff later. Awesome, well now we have Dendro Spider-Man, which is officially what I'm calling him because that is literally my signature at the moment. Because I mean, come on. You can't tell me that's not just Spider-Man. And I mean, he also has this as well when you're swinging. He just quite literally swings in. And if you've got these little things around, he just swings around like Spider-Man. And he's one of the most fun characters there is for exploring. Like, come on. You can't beat this. He's also been called Ben 10 because he has that idle animation and he has this little wasp, wasp watch thingy. And it's an idle animation where he uses it like Ben 10. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go to farming and I'll see you all tomorrow or today. And we'll get him properly built doing something because he does big damage. But now we have Kinnich here, which I'm stoked about. See you, we'll see you later on today. Okay, we have returned. It is now the next day. Actually, no, same day, just later the same day. I have done all the farming I can do. I think we should have everything. I jumped into another world. Be quiet, a how. I jumped into my other spare world to grab enough of these, but I think we have enough of everything to get him up to 90. Talents, I have a bit, so we could probably get them pretty far. I'm just basically going to do his skill and then his burst if we can, and I'm going to leave his normal attack because it's completely useless. And we need Alakino's drop, so the most I'll be able to push this is seven, I'm going to say. Yeah, I don't have very many Valakino shops. I have two of them. So I'll probably push his skill up to eight if I have the drops for it, which I should do. 
Now for weapons, we can actually get his weapon up to 70. However, that is going to be the furthest we can go because we're out of these and they are not open today. We're also out of these, but that uh, we only need one more. So that's not a problem. But yeah, his weapon's going to have to stay at 70. That should be fine though. So let's get Kinich up now. We can push him up to 80. Hopefully I have enough books for this. That, ooh, actually. There's Last Ascension. Do we have enough books? No, we do not. Ah, interesting. I feel like that's going to require quite a few books to get up that last bit. I'm going to look at artifacts first. If we have some decent stuff, then I will farm ley lines. Otherwise, I'm going to probably farm artifacts. This is our best in slot piece. We have pretty decent piece there. We mainly just want crit. I think I've been keeping them on yow yow by the looks of things. We want attack goblet. We don't really have an attack. Not a goblet, it's a sands. Yeah, I don't really have anything there. Okay, do we have a dendro damage? We do, but it is horrible. And we could possibly, this is a really bad piece, but if it rolls crit damage, it'll be okay. Well, it rolled crit damage. Let's just see what it rolls into. I don't really want to roll this piece because it's not very nice looking. However, if we just roll crit damage, then I'm fine. And so far, we're looking pretty heavy on the crit damage. Let's get another crit damage roll. There we go, 26%. And let's wrap this up with one more crit damage roll. Hell yeah, perfect. All crit damage, 34%. It could be a lot better, but don't really care. It's got 34% crit damage on it, so I'll take it. So I think that just leaves these two, which I don't have any pieces for, so I probably am going to have to farm something. Oh yes, and I have already gotten the well, part of the free temple. I thought they were just going to give us full 1600 primos in one go, but turns out we're getting it in 400 primo gem chunks. So, I mean, cool. I'd like it all in one go, but that's fine. I have already spent most of it. Uh, there's a little bit left, which I haven't been able to do because I'm a little bit short. Yeah, I am just short a couple primos, so I'll be able to finish my daily commissions and I should be able to get that. And I can do one more pull. Obviously, didn't get anything on his weapon banner, otherwise I would be using his signature weapon. That looks like it could be pretty decent. Let's just hope it rolls well. Get some ER maybe. Flat death. Just only hit crit damage. All, all the way, crit damage. Thank you. Mm, crit rate, I'll take it. More crit damage. Attack percent. It's not the worst. And crit damage. Thank you very much. That is a nice off piece. We just have this one here, which is going to be a problem. Hold up, what's he running at the moment? 61, 169. How much does he get from this? He is going to have over 100% crit rate. Because we get 40% crit rate from this. And he already has 60, so... He is definitely going to have over 100, which means I could probably see if I could find a piece. Honestly, all of our pieces kind of just don't really have much crit rate at all. This is a crit rate main stat. Everything else is pretty low on the crit. I mean, 9.7 is not bad, but they're all pretty heavily just rolled into crit damage. Actually, we could just run this piece as well, or just a normal piece with only crit damage like this. And just run this maxed out if we hit a lot of crit damage. I didn't look at the main stat. It's a HP main stat. Well, good job, me. I think this would be probably a little bit better. So that would be best piece. If I was to swap him over to a crit damage, I'm not going to keep him on set right now. I'm just going to swap him to a crit damage piece. We'd be sitting at 32 to 208. So we'd only have 70% have crit rate, which is pretty good with the 208 crit damage let's actually have a look and see i know i did get some crit damage pieces with crit rate okay well let's swap over to this this is our crit damage okay now with this build we are running this feather no flower and uh, double crit in the feather single crit damage on the sands off piece danger damage and a crit damage with a little bit of crit rate on the circlet that now puts him at 36 to 208 which will, with this passive, which after we consume a Night Soul point, which is, I think, after this big cannon hit, we'll get 40% crit rate increase, 
which will bring this 36 to 76 over 208, which is pretty good. That is some nice stats. 1700 attack. I'm liking that. We can get this skill up to 7, and I think I'm going to go up to 8 with the skill because his burst, I mean, it's useful, but his skill is the one doing the big damage. So let me go quickly craft the stuff we need. And that should be enough indeed. Boom, there we go. Up to eight with that uh, elemental skill. And his burst obviously doesn't really, it does damage, but not that much. His skills one doing the big damage. Well, that just leaves getting actual some levels on him. So I feel like I should probably do that. I don't really have any resin though. Oh, well, let me just do that. I think the team we're going to run him is the team I've sort of shown at the start of this video, I think. I mean, I didn't really say anything about it. It was just kind of there. And that is Bennett, because Bennett is good with anyone. Then we will have Dia, because I want to use Dia, and she can actually work with Kinnich decently well. And we're going to use Nahida as well. She, I know she isn't the greatest character to run with Kinnich, but I don't really have any other built Dendro characters. I know you can use him with Hole, I think, and Yao Yao. But uh, yeah, they're both not built. Also, what we can do is make him a Pyro DPS. How much does he do? Did 50k? Excuse me, what? Kinnich is now a pyro DPS. That's actually way too good for what it should be. He shouldn't be doing that much. We are... How much short? A little bit short. Uh, how? You are so loud. Oh my god, be quiet. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let me just use a little bit more fragile and let's just get him up to 90. I am going to go claim these daily commission rewards though before we do that. With the last pull we will be able to do on the weapon banner. No Kinnich signature weapon. Didn't expect that. We're like 42 pity with that pull. So yeah, not very high into pity. So that went about how I was expecting. Okay, there we go. That's probably going to use all of our books. We have two. Two of the middle grade left, but that's fine. Kinnich is now level 90. Boom. Now let's actually... Check him out and see what he does damage-wise. Well, I'm hoping he's like 100 or so K. We'll, we will see how that goes. But I mean, Kinnich can do big damage. So, let's have a look here. I think... Don't know what we're doing. Stat. Not stat. This-wise. Let's go, I guess. 120 K. There we go. 60k there. Okay. Not bad. Burst damage. 13k. 4k, yeah. Our how doesn't do too much. He's just kind of here. But, I mean, 120k from Kinnich. That's pretty damn good. I'm going to swap out Dia with Shangling. Just see what we're doing. I don't think too much is going to change, but we'll just try it out and see what happens. I think the only thing that changed is just slightly more consistent pyro. Bennett, I require your burst. Thank you. Stop it, please. Oh my god, he's blocking attacks. 90k. 120k. Nine, yeah, I think we are definitely getting more hits, so I think Shangling is probably a better option. Because we got four hits of his skill in there. While last time, when we did it with Dia, we only got like two or three. I will probably just run this team because it's Shangling just applies too much pyro. So I think we're just going to leave Shangling on the team. I want to use Dia, but yeah, she's, she's not really doing a whole lot. So Shangling it is. If I had Emily, I'd run Emily here, but we obviously don't. So this is the team we're going to run. I know you can run him with Farina as well to increase his own damage. I don't know what you'd run team-wise with that. I'd assume I'd just swap out Nahida with Farina. Don't know. Let me try that out. 
116k. Yeah, no, uh, we're actually not really hitting too much more. But it's about the same damage, so... I mean, we did shred through them a lot quicker that time, but yeah, it was still about the actual big hits were still about the same. So, I mean, Farina doesn't really do much, so I'm probably not going to... Although I probably might... Mm, I'm not sure. I probably will run Nahida just because Nahida's more fun. If anyone has any better ideas for how to build him, let me know. I'm just kind of going off the characters I have somewhat built. There's not a whole lot of them. Kale's not remotely built. I sort of have to like Shin Yen. Those guys are all somewhat built. Speaking of Shin Yen, I must make you guys aware of this because I was messing around with this recently and I did some, some little funny stuff and I have a pretty crazily built DPS Shin Yen. Can you stop blocking hits, please? 74k. 40k. 36k. 20k's. Yeah, I have a my Shin Yen's kind of kind of kind of cracked. I mean, not really. 70k is not huge. But when we're talking about Shin Yen, also Masanori's got higher level now. He's in his midnight form, so I'm leaving. But when we talk about Shin Yen, that's made 70k is pretty good for Shin Yen. She has, she's surprisingly good with plunge attacks, so Xian Yun and Shin Yen work kind of well. And I have C6 Bennett, so we get pyro hits the Shin Yen. It's actually a kind of fun team. Anyway, back to the team at hand, this one. I don't think there's too much more we can really do to this team. This is probably the team I'm going to run. I might swap Nahir out with Farina. I'm not really sure. Again, if you guys know any teams that are good for him. I did try doing some research, but I got confused. So I just kind of went uh, burning through Pyro and Dendro. Call it a day. I mean, we still hit like 120k. So I forgot you can't do two skills outside of Natlan. We still got 120k. So I'm fine with that really. That's still pretty, pretty good damage. He is the most fun character you will ever have because nothing beats this exploration especially right here where there's so many of these things it is just so fun i don't think i'm ever not going to enjoy just swinging around with him like this this is going to be my resinless behavior i run out of resin for the day i'm done my daily commissions i'm just going to come here and just start swinging around between all these platforms for probably hours on end they need to add like another area like this with just a ton of these little things so I can just jump around and swing around with Kinich. Make it like complicated. Have some like techy little stuff. Genshin, please, please do that. We need, we need Kinich obstacle course. Please and thank you. Okay, so before I spend my entire life just swinging around and not actually doing anything. Uh, I think this is probably a good spot to end it off. We have Kinich built. We obviously have Kinich. We can't do any more pulls so we can't get his weapon, which is a shame. But honestly, didn't really expect it. Also, that was very clean. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty stoked. Kinich is actually so fun. I'm so glad we got Kinich. He's very, very fun. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm actually, I'm more than happy. I'm stoked because Kinich is so fun. And he does pretty good damage. Anyway, with that, I think it's a good spot to leave it off. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye. Bye.